Ever wondered how much fishing gear is lost at sea each year? Well, buckle up because we've got some eye-opening numbers for you. It's estimated that 740,000 kilometres of fishing line and 14 billion hooks are lost in our oceans every year. 2% of all fishing gear used worldwide ends up polluting our oceans. To put it into perspective, the amount of longline fishing gear littering the ocean each year can circle the Earth 18 times. This is the first ever global estimate of how much fishing gear ends up in the world's oceans. We found that 6% of all fishing nets, 9% of all traps, and 29% of all lines are lost in our oceans each year. To crunch the numbers for these estimates, we used data from 68 studies published between 1975 and 2017. We looked at the type of fishing gear used, including nets, fishing line, pots and traps. We also conducted interviews with 450 fishers from seven of the world's biggest fishing countries. Peru, Indonesia, Morocco and the United States, just to name a few. And guess what we found? At current loss rates, in just 65 years, there would be enough fishing nets to cover the entire planet. This lost fishing equipment, known as ghost gear, causes heavy social, economic and environmental damage. Hundreds of thousands of animals are estimated to die each year from unintentional capture in fishing nets. And what's worse, derelict nets can continue to impact sea life indiscriminately for decades. The most common reasons fishing gear is lost includes bad weather, gear becoming ensnared on the seafloor, and gear interfering with other equipment, known as gear conflict. Nearly 700 species of marine life are known to interact with marine debris, with fishing gear being the biggest entanglement threat. From sea turtles to marine mammals, seabirds to whales, the toll is devastating. But it's not just the environment that suffers. Lost fishing gear has an economic impact on the fishes themselves and their livelihoods. Every metre of lost net or line is a cost to the fisher, not only in replacing the gear, but also to their potential catch. So what can we do about it? Technological improvements like better weather forecasting and improved tracking of fishing gear are already making a difference, but we need more. Incentives can help reduce losses. Buyback programs for end-of-life fishing gear, reduced cost loans for net replacement and waste receptacles in ports to encourage fishers to return used gear are just a few possibilities. We're also looking at pathways for material recovery, such as recycling ghost nets, which has been explored in other countries. This could take the shape of marine debris and nets being sorted, cleaned, shredded and turned into products for reuse. Effective fishing management systems can improve food security, create a more sustainable environment and support fishing businesses and people's livelihoods. With more knowledge on ways to prevent fishing gear being lost in our oceans, we can stem the tide of fishing pollution and protect our oceans for generations to come. This is a win for the environment and the economy.